Welcome to What is Statistics, Part 1. This is Part 1 of 3 that will talk about what statistics really is, and then we'll move on to what Bayesian statistics is with a flavor to it. All right, so let's clarify what statistics is. Now, there's lots of notions of statistics. I hear them all the time. I ask students, usually at the beginning of class, what do you think statistics is? And if you're in my class, chances are I will be asking this to you. And here are some of the answers that I get. I People say, it's data analysis. That's vague. Uh, you can do lots of things with data, and it doesn't mean you're really coming up with a statistic. You could be just pushing a whole bunch of numbers around. Okay, Graphs and visualizations. Well, that is part of it. Uh, looking at pictures and understanding what the pictures show you is very, very important, and it will be important in Bayesian statistics as well. Uh, confidence intervals. Well, that's one aspect of statistics in the sense of you're trying to make some inferences. You're trying to make some conclusions about some quantities, and you're trying to put an interval around it. You're saying, I think this value is probably between this value and this value, and that forms an interval. Uh, p-values. Uh, you probably have seen p-values before and you're like, yes, that's what statistics is. No, that is a tool that helps with inference. It's not what statistics is. Uh, ANOVA. And again, ANOVA is a technique. And it's a technique that uses p-values, by the way. Uh, and it's looking to see, are there differences across groups? And that might be what you're interested in, but that's not what statistics is. People might say regression. They say, well, is this related to that? And again, relating two variables together is part of statistics, but it's not the whole thing. Uh, you might hear somebody say probability because, uh, you know, you use those probability tables and people talk about probability a lot. And, oh, my gosh, will we be talking about probability a lot? But that's only a part of it. So we really need a good, cohesive definition of what this is. So it doesn't just seem like complicated mathematics and formulas that are going every which way. We really need a way to think about what statistics is that provides us with a meaningful definition that helps guide us, number one, on what we're doing, but also gives us some sense of what we can do and what we can't do and how to do it right. All right, so uh, this is the... Uh, definition I was given when I was in graduate school. Uh, Dr. Jesse Arnold at Virginia Tech gave this as his definition, and I thought it was amazing. And I keep using it over and over again. So uh, if you look through some of his textbooks, you'll see it floating around in there. But here is the essence of what he said. So statistics is the process of making decisions when confronted with uncertainty. And notice I've highlighted these. So in order to understand what statistics is, you need to understand that it's a process, okay? That you're making a decision. So you're trying to make some sort of conclusion about something, and you have some uncertainty involved. If you don't have all three of these, then you're probably not doing statistics, okay? Uh, you might be doing a process where you're trying to make a decision, but if there's no uncertainty associated with it, then it's not statistics. Now, the next few videos, we're going to look at the process, the decisions, and the uncertainty associated with them. So just keep that in mind as we move along here, but I'm going to work through each one in a separate video. So we'll have a process video, a decisions video, and an uncertainty video. And after that, we'll be able to jump into doing some uh, Bayesian statistics. But before we'll do that, we'll actually go and talk about probability a whole lot so that we have a good grasp of it because we're going to really need that. All right, so I'll see you in the next video.